it's Thursday, it's May 4th, 2023. My son and my youngest son informs me today is May the fourth be with or the fourth be with you. Um, <clears throat> so they're dressing in pageantry on their way to school this morning as a, like a local trend, I suppose. I don't know if all of the children under this territory do the same. Um, I'm just keeping an eye on some of the signs. Um, I'm thinking of this thing I'd heard of once upon a time in passing. I think it came through one of those holes in space and time um, called Greenpeace. <clears throat> Apparently it's some global network and communication project. I don't really know much on it. I spoke to a local the other day in my local field of service um, for next gens, and um, he answered my question about I had mentioned the telephone company, and I didn't understand the switch over to these new cables. He answered it for me. I had seen it on an episode of International Rescue through the Super Mario Nation, but on the puppetry, they answered it last Sunday um, for me on one of their 1960s um, epithets or communications. Um, anyhow, I discovered this Captain America thing, watching it through an updated version of myself, I suppose. Um, I also see that they came out with something called Class of 09. I think is really interesting. Um, I had met an Eric through eHarmony um, very early on after, I don't know, do you say escaping the marriage or do you say whatever of the crazy donkey problem. So, um, but that particular Eric, I don't know if that was an assignment, said he had pneumonia and 103 fever and his father was with him in the hospital. So he genuinely thanked me for my concern. I had asked him if I was dressed appropriate enough. I had on a, a collared shirt and a sweater vest. I wasn't sure if that was the appropriate dress for whichever, I suppose, a date at that time. I I wasn't sure. Again, these things are so foreign and so new to me. Um, the respectable category of humanity. Um, so I'm watching this class of 09. Then, of course, there was Eric from the World Gym. And then there was Thomas Jefferson uh, and the Port Jefferson trip. I preferred to call him Eric rather than Thomas um, for whatever reason. So I'm watching this um, class of 09, and then it goes very really into the Captain America piece. Now, the Captain America piece at the end of the movie from 2011 for me, what does it mean to me um, as a receiver of this communication project? Um, it represents that if they were already storyboarding in the 1940s and prepping in anticipation of some thing at higher levels of intelligence, um, that this area in New York may see, for them, it may have been a foreseeable problem that they were trying to correct or do whatever it is that they do at that higher level of intelligence. Somewhere between an, like an arch mandrake, perhaps, and like the superheroes in uniform. But again, I don't want to come off being like facetious. Um, so, there's this, or or even as a malcontent, because I certainly 
have trials and tribulations, but here we are. Um, so there is, and that's like really more the tribunal, but whatever on that. So um, that's something Lewis attends. Um, so anyhow, so I'm here. So if the storyboard could, because Captain America wakes up with an SSR on his chest, and his very real family eyes open. And he looks very RH negative to me. Although sometimes RH positive, it's hard to tell the difference. I've had troubles myself. Um, but again, this seems to be more of a northern, um, unspoken about whatever in our families, whatever. Um, and so, and then there's this character in the red. And again, I'm like, so is that Sunburn? Or is that the person who's responsible for the RH positives? Like, I'm I'm having trouble really placing him in an anchored position in reality. So anyhow, so but Captain America wakes up. He's got this SSR on his chest. And there's a fake room, and he's listening to a 1940s sports cast. And then all of a sudden, he breaks through the wall because they've woken him up. He went into like a hyper slumber, and then he's woken up. So, my whole thing is, and then he's told that he's been asleep for 70 years by a very dark looking person with only one eye. And I'm like, wow, that is really characteristically going to be hard for the main audience who doesn't know that we're an endangered population on this planet. Um, which somewhere they take very seriously. Um, along with all of the things that have happened to me. So... And yesterday when I was at the park, here's like real field update news. There was a bag that said happy birthday on it. And it had a name that I didn't recognize, Zachary. Um, and then at the top, it said Tio. It didn't say Tio Frio, it just said Tio. I only know of one Zachary in the entire field of humanity. But again... Um, that was along my journey and I don't know that it was a face to face meeting. I met his father face to face, but again, next chance being as important and as limited in quantum entanglement in a respectable manner. Um, so here's this epithet about, like, from a mother's point of view in class of 09, and then going into the piece of, like, a, a child who storyboard may have begun before he even arrived in, like, a 1940s comic version or in a comic book version, that then they somehow, because there's many Steves, as according to See the BS yesterday, um... And I'm just watching this with keen eye. This is how this class of 09 starts. Everything you do will be evaluated. So we need to know you better than you know yourselves. It says everything you do will be evaluated. Yeah, that's kind of been since birth, which is one of the ongoing whatevers and the whatever, whatever, whatever especially with a black hand and a black cross after a Lindenhurst lathe and all of these other projections into my real world field that I didn't ask for in RH positive category when I'm very really RH negative. And I have this cosmic clock thing going on. I have no idea what's coming. Well, that's interesting if somebody had warned me in 2009, which I think was around when the Eric's started showing up in my very real area 
Um, at that time, I didn't realize America could be broken down to the A, M, and the Eric for the A. If I go spelled it properly, I just thought they were sent, like, I mean, everything happens for a reason at some point, doesn't it? Love this Marvel movie? Stream it, along with more of your favorites on Disney+. Plus. So is that the waking up of the storyboard and the prelude or the prefix before the prefect in this generation started to arrive? I'm just curious. And again, before the ill begot or the has it all gets angry, um, in the field of um, physics and in high intelligence science in America, they do teach that there are anions or anon anons and cations. Um, there's three bonds, covalent. Um, ionic, and I forget the last one, um, in some kind of covalence. So when an RH for the rhesus, um, comes out and one is charged negatively and one is charged positively, again, there's semblance in the universe between the anon and the cation, um, and the blood grouping at ABO for the rhesus in the RH between the negatively charged and the positively charged. Um, and then how that's disseminated through the public and how that might affect their journey. Again, in some predictability program, it is known. This is what reminds me of my son, the one that represents the Big Ben, the one, like, again, I don't know if it represents the 107, I really, I don't, I don't want to, like, again, I had a run-in with the 103, so I don't want to put my children in harm's way, however, the big clock, right, right around the time of the Y2K that happened in New York, which was like a whole clock issue and problem going on. And then he wakes up in his adulthood and starts asking questions for which I can't answer. Because again, I arrived in 78. He arrived in 99. We're having trouble in the millennial, in the millennium. It's for me.
it's like waking up in hell. It's like, where am I? And when you ask the humans or the earthlings, they give you this bub kiss that you've been sleeping for so long, or they don't give you answers at all, or they give you these mind melding things. But again, I don't know, is that Greenpeace's main mission is to confuse and hurt the RHs, the RH negative, like the endangered population on the planet? I'm just curious. Who put me and my children to sleep? I'm just curious. Because we certainly didn't put ourselves to sleep. You gonna be okay? I don't know if he had a date, but mom certainly did, several of them. And she knows her own, but she doesn't tell her children just in case Candor steps in and gives him any kind of funny medication. He can't give up mom if he doesn't know the details. I'm part of the silent generation. Now, I had, <clears throat> was, somebody came into Lyndon Lou's house. They took me from right there in that corner they took me out of the house. They had me on this street enter an ambulance. And then they took me off to some facility. There was a NYPD officer with badge number in the ambulance. Um, and then they dropped me off. I mean, this is, there's been several of these uh, without my authority. Um, they just come in and take me out of the house and then send me off in these ambulance rides that I didn't call the ambulance. I don't know who did, but it's illegal uh, and it's against my human rights. All of these procedures and operations that they've been doing, which seem to be very illegal and experimental and so on and so forth. So somehow in the ambulance ride, whatever was going on, there was some kind of, um, between the ambulance ride with the NYPD officer and when they dropped me off at, they said it was the Lowenstein um, Hospital, but that's where I was transferred to a day later. There was a 24 hour hold in some facility that was run by something in the darker skin. That's what was op operating. And there was some kind of gas that was coming in through the vents and something like this happened where it, and again, I don't know if it was um, psilocybin or some kind of hallucinogenic that they were, I mean, I wasn't purposely ingesting it. I, they did not have my permission to administer it for sure. But I sat there curled up in a fetal position and this is what happened in the hospital facility setting in New York, in Long Island. It was in Nassau County, just so the executive is real crystal clear about his administration. So this divine crime is what I call it. While I was there, this happened. And there was almost like a split reality. 
I don't know what the hell they gave me. I don't know why a participating New York area hospital would ever administer a hallucinogenic personally to someone after they forcibly remove them from their house without permission and then sent them to a local area hospital for observation, but they administered some kind of hallucinogenic that's totally illegal. I didn't take it of my own free will. I don't know if it was gassed in, in some odorless, whichever I could hear through the grates on the, on the walls, the vents on the walls. I could hear them piping something in and then something like this happened. And I spent 24 hours in a fetal position in the area hospital and then transferred to something called Lowenstein, which is really interesting because the crazy shitbag donkey and his family, Peter, said their family history is that they were part of the Lowenstein family. But then he got kicked. He was a baron in Germany. And then he got in a bar fight, killed a man and then fled to America. He got whatever and, and changed his name to Romer with some doctor, but there's a lot of shady shit going on. But I'll tell you in the real world, in one of the years, either 2019, 20 or 21, they really came into this house several times and removed me Ill illegally from me. I don't know if they had US paper, but again, Bullets do work faster at like research and development and illegal processes that they're doing in the local area against my human. I did not ask for this. I did not sign up for this. I did not give them permission to alter or administer anything that caused this effect whatsoever. It's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Ketaruza. It's earth solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Woman 361.